Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all a homemade samosa. So without further ado, let me show you how easy this is to put together. So guys, I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning and some green seasoning to my chicken pieces and I'm just going to give that a mix to incorporate and we'll set this aside while we prepare the other ingredients. So to a pot on a medium heat, I'm going to go in with some chili infused coconut oil from CGA Limited. When your oil is nice and hot, go in with some chopped onions. I'm going to go in with one bird pepper or chili pepper chopped. You can use a habanero pepper or a scotch bonnet pepper. We're just going to allow the onions to saute until they're tender. Now I'm going to add in some minced garlic and just let that go until the garlic is tender. Remember, you don't want to burn the garlic. Now I'm just going to go in with a few cumin seeds. Now these cumin seeds are not going to toast and get burnt like how we would usually do it. It's just going to help flavor this dish. So I'm just going to mix that in. And I already see my garlic turning a light brown color. So what I want to do next is go in with a little bit of curry powder because I'm making a curry flavored samosa. But if you guys wanted to make this without the curry, you can. Now I'm just going to toast that curry in there for a couple of seconds. Now I'm going to go in with some water to help this cook. Now I'm going to go in with my chicken pieces and I'm using chicken breast for this. You can use whatever you have on hand. I'm also going to go in with some cubed potato. I have some pigeon peas and you guys would notice a little bit of ingredients and you're going to get a ton of filling from this. And I'm just going to give that a mix. Now to make this a little more wholesome, I'm going in with some cabbage and I'm also going to go in with some chopped scallions or scythe as we say in Trinidad. I'm going to season this with a little bit of that Goya all-purpose seasoning that I love and I'm just going to give this a mix. Now you guys see how light that curry flavor is going to be. It's not a ton of curry in here. You don't want to overpower it. Of course, if you wanted a stronger curry flavor, by all means, you go for it. Add as much as you want. So what I'm going to do is crank the heat up to a medium high and allow this to fry up in here, create some more flavor. And then... So guys, now that it has started to stick at the bottom, I'm going to go in with some water. I'm adding in a little bit of water because we'll need that water to help the potatoes to cook and I'm going to drop back my heat to a medium low because the water will evaporate really quickly if you don't and I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook until the potato is tender. So let's go ahead and check on this. Okay, so now that the liquid in there has started to dry out, what I'm going to do is take the back of my spoon and just mash down on the potato pieces. We need this to be of a, a thicker consistency. So guys, now that the potatoes have been mashed in, I'm going to go in with some peas and carrots. Now this is frozen peas and carrots. And I'm just going to mix that in. Now the reason why I didn't put it before is because I didn't want to smush up those um, peas. I want the peas to give it that nice green pop of color along with the carrots. And to finish this, I'm just going to go in with a dusting of jeera or roasted cumin powder. Not too much as to overpower it. And give that a mix. So what I'm going to do is just transfer this to a bowl and set it aside and allow it to cool down. So to my flour, I'm going to go in with some salt and some ghee. And I prefer using ghee. If you don't have ghee, you can use butter. 
Now we're going to mix that in and then we're going to go in with enough water to create a very firm dough. The dough needs to be very firm for the samosa to hold up when you fill it. So you want to knead it and then form it into a bowl, cover it and let it rest for 5 minutes. After it's finished resting, you're going to go ahead and break this into 10 small dough balls. Next, I'm taking a dough ball, flour your surface and we're going to open this out about 8 to 10 inches in diameter. Go ahead and cut this into a half and now we're going to make our cone. So fold over one side and then taking some water, we're going to wet that edge and then wet the other edge is going to fold over again so fold that over and then you're going to press down to seal and then we're going to go ahead and pick this up and open it out into our cone shape and then all we have to do is fill this you want to make sure you put the filling right down to the tip so the entire samosa gets that filling and you're going to leave about a half of an inch at the top. Now close and press the top properly to seal, hence the reason why we left a half of an inch and then bending it a little bit to help it stand up. So I'm going to finish fill the rest of these and now we can move on onto frying these. You see how they're standing? That's why the dough needs to be kneaded at that firm consistency these go into my oil on a medium heat and i have my electric stove on a six for this and we are going to fry these until they're golden brown flipping them as they cook and once they're golden brown on both sides we're going to take these out and drain them on our paper towel So guys, look how perfect these samosas looks. All maidens in a row. So what I want to do is just, I want you guys to hear the crunch this has on it. Really crunchy and nice. So I'm going to definitely bite into one so you guys can hear further. But just look at that filling in there guys. This is so flaky and so delicious. Mmm, listen to that crunch. It's amazing, guys. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. I tried to make it as easy and I tried to give it a Trini twisted. So, if you guys try this, comment and let me know down below what you think. Thank you guys for requesting it. Thank you all for keep the request coming in, guys. I love it. As long as I have the ingredients at home, I'm going to make what you guys request. I'm, I know you're bored and you're home, you're quarantined just like me. So as long as I have the ingredients, I'll definitely be making all of your requests. So if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.